John Hambrick and Giselle Fernandez report Channel 6 Action News tonight. This is a Channel 6 Action News special report. Showdown in the Gulf with Action News anchor Ken Matz in Washington and anchor John Hambrick in Miami. Good evening, I'm John Hambrick. With approximately 28 and a half hours to go before the UN deadline for Iraq to withdraw from Kuwait, for all of the talk and all of the talk about final hour talks, there is no sign that Saddam Hussein intends to do anything other than what he said he would do all along, that is stay in Kuwait and face U.S. multinational forces in war. The grim mood at the White House worsened as the deadline drew nearer. The president's spokesman said Iraq is living on borrowed time and military action could come any time after the 15th. UN Secretary General Perez de Cuellar said that he had lost all hope for peace. But French officials said that they are optimistic they can work out a compromise. We believe France, perhaps better than uh, many other uh, permanent members of Security Council, to really work out a constructive solution to the problems in the Middle East. Is Iraq willing to talk? It doesn't seem likely, as the parliament today voted unanimously to give Saddam Hussein all the authority he needs if war breaks out, and diplomats and Iraqi citizens were taking no chances. The airport was congested with people trying to flee. It's just a precautionary measure, as all the other embassies did. That's why we are leaving also. And what about the mood of people in this country? A CBS New York Times poll tonight shows two-thirds of those questioned believe war will last at least several months. Half said they expect at least 5,000 Americans to die in combat. Of course, the other focal point in this showdown is Washington, D.C., and that is...